So this is a quick video really to give you some tips on the construction and sewing up of the Amaryllis Minerva. Now mine is in reverse colours here so that's the first thing to state is I've actually used cream as my main colour and ruby as my contrast whereas if you were um, making the winter edition of the Flora Society Yours will actually be in ruby main with contrasting cream around that, which is the true colours of the Amaris Minerva. Now, the bit that I think I just want to clarify is when you've made the inner petals and the outer petals, what I've done to hide all of the ends and to make it nice and neat and tidy is I've tip pushed all of the ends in and then just quickly sewn over the edge before I do the final sewing up. So I want to show you what I mean about how I do that. So what it looks like before you do it is you'll be able to see inside each of these little triangles on both pieces, both the inner and the outer. And all I do to make that nice and neat and tidy is I'm going to tuck my ends in. So tuck any ends that you've got inside like that and then just run along and do a quick stitch between there and the inner triangle. And that's just gonna give you a lovely, nice, needy, neat and tidy edge before you sew it up. Then the main thing that you have to remember when you're making one of the flower designs that has the hood construction is the fact that you need to get this onto your flower before you actually put any stuffing into the head. So when you're making your body and head in a separate piece like that, we need to make sure we actually put the hood on first before we put the stuffing into the head. Otherwise, you will struggle to get it on afterwards. So so right the way across like that. So that's nice and neat and tidy and locked in there. like that and then taking the hole which will be there you need to put the head inside that first like that and then you put your stuffing into the bottom right the way through into your head so once you've got your stuffing into your head and your body, just a little tip to make sure that you have got the stuffing in a continuous piece between the body and head, um, because it can be tempting, especially with one like this, where you've put the hood on first to just have some stuffing in the head and stuff, some stuffing in the body separately. But actually to make sure that it will hold its flower head up the best, make, just put your hook in like that and tease some stuffing up through that neck to make sure that you've got stuffing running in a nice firm column through the middle. So once you've got your hood in place like that, what you then need to do is position your inner petals. And that was the back of the inner petal. So that's where I've used that same technique of sewing them up to hide all of the ends in like that. Your inner petals go in front. Um, so spread out. So what you're going to do is just pull out the center of your head like that so that your inner petals sit nice and neatly inside like that. And then all I would do would be to tack that into position using a long thread. So this is one coming out of my other hood but all I'll do is take that through and on the inside and I'll just do a line of running stitches around those petals in order to fix those into place and what you need to do really is line up that central bit with the middle of the triangle in the the outer ring so the inner rings will sit right in the middle of the outer rings for the best effect. I hope that helps with the structure of sewing up the um, amaryllis. It is um, a really unusual one, the way that you make that head and then you put that hood on, but I think um, such a stunning high impact one, especially for the festive season, if you are using that gorgeous sparkly yarn with the design too. The last finishing touches that you'll do to finish it off is to just do um, a few little stitches um, around the edge. So the last couple of bits that I just want to show you on the Amaryllis is how to do the few loop stitches to put that star shape in on the edge of the flower and then how we're going to slip stitch the edge on as well. So this is the original um, design for the Winter Flora Society. So you're working in your festive cream there. So you've got a sparkle to your cream and the ruby is your main colour. The one that I've made here is actually in reverse colours. Um, so it looks lovely. So that's the cream main with the ruby in the contrasting. So to put these loops just onto the, the kind of star shapes onto the end of each petal, you've colour changed that triangle in as you've gone along. And then all I will do is bring up the yarn that I've used for the triangle. So in my case, it's ruby. In this one, it would be cream. Go out like that by one, two, three rounds right up the centre of the petal. Loop round the top, like round the top of the needle like that. And then go across the top. Then come back in one stitch down from where we came out originally so that's one in go out slightly diagonally this time 
and then come one stitch down again and go slightly diagonally out and around. So that's three in, then mirror that on the other side. So actually I find it easiest to then start with the lowest one. So I'll come into there, mirroring what I've got on the other side. So in, around, fix that in place. in, around, and in. So that's your sewn on star shapes. And once you've finished, I just fasten that around a ruby stitch like that. Then the last thing to do is to do the edging. Again, mine will be in ruby. The original was in cream on the ruby. But what you're going to do here, so start off at a, a low point in between the two. So um, by that, I mean a dip in the petals. So I'm going to start off there and join the yarn in. And then holding the yarn on the back of the petal, but going in through the front of the fabric. So you can see I've got my ruby yarn there on the back, but I'm going to go in through the front. I go in like that, grab the yarn and bring it through. So in, grab the yarn and through. So I'm going to run right the way around the edge and I'm going in between the rounds. So I'm going round the post in between the rounds like that. What it will do is it will give you a lovely, neat V-stitch on the front and it will leave you a little line on the back. There we go. Like that. So you run all the way around the edge. The most important thing about this technique is keeping that yarn on the back. Your yarn on the back, even though you're going in through the front. So go right around the edge of every petal and back round to the beginning and that will mean that your amaryllis is complete.